Tomorrow marks the one year anniversary of a destructive tornado that pummeled several communities along the eastern shore. The twister caused more than $3.3 million in damage in parts of Queen Anne's County, including Bay City and Stevensville. Some homeowners have rebuilt, but many are still dealing with the aftermath from the EF2 tornado. WJZ's Meg McNamara takes a look back at the devastation and gets some firsthand experience into the raw power of a tornado. In July of last year, a tornado touched down near Stevensville in Queen Anne's County in the middle of the night. The tornado was rare for a couple of reasons. First, how strong it was. The majority of tornadoes in Maryland are EF zeros with max winds of 85 miles an hour. This tornado was no zero. This was an EF2 with winds of 125 miles an hour. That sounds like a lot, but what does that feel like? The Glen L. Martin Wind Tunnel at the University of Maryland can show us. I met director Dr. Jewel Barlow. This wind tunnel has been used mostly for testing airplanes, cars, trucks, boats of various types. And for people to experience the damaging winds associated with hurricanes and tornadoes. It was time to get geared up. Okay, should be simple enough, you would think. They strapped me down so I wouldn't go flying. I was so nervous, I almost forgot my goggles. Then the wind started. It's just refreshing, actually. Things changed quickly. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow, so we're at 40 miles an hour right now. And it's already intense. At that point, my photographer had to leave the tunnel because it wasn't safe without being strapped down. Okay, Alan, I think we're good. Things got less fun when the skin on my face started flapping. Winds right now are at 75 miles an hour. I did it so intense. I was miserable, but I told them to crank it up anyway. 95. I tried to smile, but I was in pain. I made it to 115 miles an hour, which is the maximum that they let people experience. I was so disoriented, I forgot the cue for stop. Luckily, they figured it out. Oh my gosh, that was so crazy. Oh. I thought it was pretty intense at around, I think, 60 miles an hour. I was almost ready to call it quits. And then when it went up to 115, so keep in mind, that is still 10 miles an hour weaker than the EF2 tornado. So that is just, at this point, almost hard for me to even imagine. Besides the wind, the tornado was rare because of how it formed. This tornado was so rare because it started as a water spout. The waters of the Chesapeake were so, so warm that it had enough energy to hold together and then became a tornado the second that it came on shore. Back to you. And WJZ will visit Stevensville for an update on the recovery there this week.